We're now looking at the structure of the shoulder joint. So the bony prominences related to it. So the first thing we're going to actually look at is this aspect here. Which I've already said is the, the glenoid cavity. The glenoid cavity. Now inside the glenoid cavity or on the edge of it I should say. There's a glenoid labrum. And there's a ring of fibrocartilage that runs around the edge. This gives the, the ball a bit of a socket to go into. It's a very loose socket still because it's sacrificing stability for movability. Whereas your hip joint sacrifices movability for stability. So although they're both ball and socket joints, there is a slight difference between them. So the glenoid cavity is the, the actual surface where the head of the humerus comes into and then there's a white fibro ring of cartilage going around there called the glenoid labrum. At the top, at the top, up here, at this point we've got our supratubercle and our infratubercle at the bottom and they're muscle attachments that we'll be talking about later. We've also got, when we look to the humerus bone itself, when we're looking at that humerus bone, we have a greater tubercle and a lesser tubercle. Now the greater tubercle is to the posterior aspect of the bone and a lot of our rotator cuff muscles attach there. And then we have a bit of a groove and then we have our lesser tubercle. And the groove itself is known as our bicipital groove. The bicipital groove. And obviously our bicep tendon runs through there. But we've also got a lot of muscular attachments going on there. We also have the deltoid tuberosity. The deltoid tuberosity is located down here of the arm. That's a major insertion point for our deltoids. Deltoid tuberosity. Now a further piece of anatomy worth noting is this gap that goes through here. So if I pass something through, there we go, as it comes through there. That is known as our subacromial arch. So it's the archway for our muscle, our supraspinatus muscle, rotator cuff muscle to pass through. It passes through there, the subacromial arch.